of disturbing allegations of abuse surfacing right now at a Chesapeake Elementary School. Two mothers are sharing their story, claiming one of the teachers physically and verbally abused their 11-year-old daughters with special needs in the classroom. And they sat down with News 3 reporter Antoinette Dalbell, and she joins us live now from Grassfield Elementary, where the abuse allegedly happened. Now, first, let me ask this question, Annie. How are these families doing tonight? Well, Barbara, both mothers were extremely emotional. And tell me, this has been a nightmare and traumatizing for both the girls who are nonverbal. And as parents, they say they felt completely helpless, and that's what hurts the most. These Chesapeake mothers are trying to stay strong for their daughters, best friends Christina in Milan, but say they're distraught after finding out their child's teacher is on administrative leave, accused of abusing students in the classroom. I feel hurt. I feel betrayed. I feel angry. I feel sad. And I feel lost. I feel lost. It's a nightmare. I'm lost. I'm I'm in a fog right now. Yolanda Myrick and Elizabeth Lehman say they recently found out their 11-year-old daughters were allegedly abused by their teacher at Grassfield Elementary School. Lehman says she found out about the disturbing accusations yesterday from the school's principal. I was told that the teacher had a water spray bottle of water that she would keep in a cart and she would spray these kids in the face with the water bottle. When they got too excited, um, and uh, she told me that the teacher would squeeze my daughter's mouth and scream at her face. Myrick says a staff member broke the news to her about a week ago on the last day of school, claiming she witnessed the abuse. Both girls are nonverbal, unable to tell their parents. Nightmare, complete nightmare for children um, that cannot speak for themselves. A spokesperson for Chesapeake Public Schools sent a statement saying on May 27th, school administrators received a report of alleged abuse from a teacher towards three students. The statement goes on to say the teacher was immediately put on paid administrative leave pending an investigation and a report was made to Child Protective Services. Meantime, as these mothers lean on one another for support, they say they want the teacher, school and everyone else involved to be held accountable. We have a right to know. They are supposed to be these kids' voices while they're in school because they can't talk. And they failed to do that. Now, we've reached out to CPS, and because of confidentiality, they say they can't give us any information. We also reached out to Chesapeake Police. They tell us they don't have an active police report on this case, and we're not naming the teacher in question because no charges have been filed. Live in Chesapeake, Antoinette Bell News 3.